This video is going to take a look at when we might want to extract the objects that are passed around our application in method calls to then begin testing upon those objects. We're then going to look at how we can use the argument capture class from the Makito framework so that we can later assert upon that object itself. So if we take a look at the class that we'll be testing, it's called Booking Manager. And this Booking Manager class will be used to add kind of reservations at a restaurant. And it has this add reservation method to take in a reservation and then to persist it to a database. So it takes in the name of the reservation, the number of seats, and then the time just as an integer. It creates this table using those three arguments. And that table is kind of a model class for the name, the number of seats, and the time. Then a booking is created by passing in that table to the booking. And then finally, the booking persister, which is passed in through the constructor, uses the persist to database method call by passing in the booking to persist that booking theoretically into the database. So what we would like to do is to test against this booking that is being passed to the persister through this add reservation method call. So what we're going to do is call this add reservation call and then we want to understand exactly what booking is being passed into the persister but the only way that we're able to understand what booking is being passed is by extracting that booking when this method call persister database is made through the booking persister. So I'm going to begin by creating our test. And to begin, I'm going to create a spy version of the booking persister class. And the reason I'm going to be creating a spy version of it is because we're going to later inspect the stack trace that is called upon this persister database call by using the verify method. And it's through the Mokito verify method that we'll actually be able to extract the booking that is passed into this method when we later call it. I'm then going to create a booking manager instance where this spy is going to be passed in through the constructor. The next step will involve defining the argument capture, which is from the Makito framework. So the argument capture will allow us to inspect upon a method call that is being made to capture the argument or arguments that are being passed into that method call, and then to define what those arguments are back out as an object. So we're using the argument capture class to extract the object that is being passed into a method call. And we're going to look into that method call by using the verify method from the Makito framework. So the argument capture is defined by using the class itself within pointed brackets. And then we're going to specify what that class is through the for class method call. So it's argument captor, and we're looking for a booking. And then we're going to use argument captor dot for class, and then pass in the booking class. And we can see here that the argument captor has come from the Mokito framework. Okay, what we're going to do now is call that add reservation method call, and we're going to pass in a few variables that we will later use for testing. So we're making a reservation under the name of Anthony. The number at that reservation will be two people, and the time is 19 hours. So seven o'clock in the evening. So at the moment, our captured booking doesn't actually exist as any kind of object. So now what we want to do is to populate our argument captor with the argument that is, being, that is being passed in to the booking persister through this persist to database method call. So this add reservation method call is going to create the table, it's going to create the booking, and then it's going to take that booking and pass it into 
the persistor. And we're able to identify that exact booking through the stack trace on the verify method call through Mokito. So we know that the booking persister spy is the instance of the persister that is being used to make that booking. And then we're going to obtain the persister database method call that is being made. And we're going to use this captured booking dot capture method keyword to obtain the actual object instance that is being passed in through that method call. Now we can extract what has been captured into our very own booking instance by using the get value method, which will return the actual object back to this captured booking value instance. So now we're able to actually test upon this captured booking value, which is the booking that has been passed into the persister. And let's say we want to test that the name is Anthony the number at the reservation is 2, and the time is off 19. Now if I run the test, we can expect it to pass. And now if I change any of the expected values, we can expect it to fail. So that summarizes this video on how we can use the argument captor from the Makito framework to peek into the arguments that are being passed by our method calls and then how we can extract those arguments back into objects to then later be used by our tests.